where according to a recent poll by The Hill and Emerson College, she is leading Donald Trump by three in a three-way race. Uh, so why North Carolina? Well, for one, it is one of the key swing states that we focus on constantly. 16 electoral votes up for grabs. Trump won North Carolina in 2020 by two points. The only Democrat, though, consider this. Think about this for a second. The only Democrat to win in North Carolina since 1976 was Barack Obama. He did it back in 2008. Here with me, Congressman from the Tar Heel State, Wiley Nickel, Democrat. Nice to see you. Thanks for being with us here on the Hill. Um, you thought last night was a big night for her with women. Why? Well, she, she, had, she had plans. She had specific policy proposals to help families, to help with the child tax credit. We got to hear from someone who sounded like a president, who was presidential, who had a real plan. And on the other hand, Donald Trump, he said he only has concepts of a plan. I heard nothing anywhere in that debate uh, that resembled a real plan or a solution to, to bring our country together, to work on issues that we need to work on in Washington. It was a huge win for Vice President Harris. So undecided voters in your state, right? The number one issue for them is the economy. Voters as a whole in your state, the number one issue for them is the economy. You know this. I don't need to tell you this, but for, for our audience watching us. She got, Kamala Harris got, the question last night, which is the fastball down the middle. You know it's coming right off the top of the of the, of the debate. Here's what she was asked. I want to get your reaction on the other side. When it comes to the economy, do you believe Americans are better off than they were four years ago? So I was raised as a middle class kid. And I am actually the only person on this stage who has a plan that is about lifting up the middle class and working people of America. I imagine and have actually a plan to build what I call an opportunity economy. I didn't hear her say yes. Why not? What, what I did hear was a plan, and, and I think that's really the, the most important part of that answer. But how do you make, how do you make the argument, though, that if, if you're the incumbent vice president and you can't argue that, yes, we are better off than we were in, in, in our bank accounts, in our pocketbooks, at our kitchen table four years ago? Well, I, I just look at where we're going, and that's the information that I get here in Congress on the House Financial Services Committee. We're about to, to lower interest rates, finally. That's a huge turning point for our economy. We're going to be bringing down costs. And, uh, you know, I, I think folks, folks are seeing the, 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 the work that we've done here over the last, you know, four years with the Biden-Harris administration starting to pay off in North Carolina. Uh, you know, inflation is, is, is moving in the right direction. It's moving down. You know, we're going to be cutting interest rates. Those are things that are going to help in a big way in so North Carolina. So you're a big supporter of President Biden. I, I, I know this, but for our audience. We know what happened in the first debate. We know what happened last night. And I wonder if there are some Americans out there who are saying, you know what, if she was that strong last night, which you say she was, why is he leading the country right now and not her? Well, I, I, I get that he's yeah. the president, but when you compare the two performances, I got to imagine there are some folks out there saying, wait a minute, he, he still has a few more months left in office. I, I think he's, he's doing the work he needs to do. He's, he's able to focus on running through the tape over the next six months. Uh, and, and she's focusing on her campaign. I, I think they're, you know, he's, he's certainly will, able to do the job, and he's doing a great job at it right now. But, you know, my focus is on this election and making sure folks know about this incredible choice that's coming up. And, and we saw two totally different performances. Donald, everyone knew that Donald Trump was going to, we were going to bait him. And over and over and over, he took the, the bait. And Doesn't she, so she set the bait trap. She, she tried to bait him on immigration. And instead of answering the question about immigration, doesn't she owe the country some some answers? Well, I, I think that's, we, that's I, the flip to that, right? I, I think we got the answers. I mean, I, and I think the, 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 for folks who are watching what we do here in Congress, it's crystal clear. She said, that as president, she would sign the most conservative border security and immigration reform bill we've ever push, pushed through Congress. We had a deal here in Congress that 25 Senate Republicans were willing to support, along with Democrats. And Trump killed the deal for his own personal benefit. That's the thing I'm excited about. Once we get past this election, we come back to Washington, I know we can get this done when we get you know, Vice President Harris through this election and, and ready to be our next president. Yes or no, she wins North Carolina. Absolutely. She, she's, ahead. She does. she's ahead by three points. It is going to be incredibly close. I think in North Carolina, the battle isn't between Harris and Trump. The battle is between Kamala Harris and the couch, getting people excited, getting people motivated. It's going to the, the North Carolina is going to go to, to the the side that is most motivated to vote. And after a performance like that at the debate, we have a ton of reasons to be excited 
And, and I think that debate you're going to see as we talk to people made a huge difference to those people who are still on the fence, those swing voters right in the middle. Uh, it just wasn't even close. I think this was okay. probably one of the best debate performances we've seen in our nation's history. Thank you for watching. And make sure you go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.